My name is Kathy Cheeseman and I live in Waconia, Minnesota. Uh, my name is Kelly Emmett and I am from Waconia. I'm Abby Sinan, I'm from Waconia, Minnesota. Carrie Ann Kenny and I'm a resident of Waconia and I'm looking forward to having the very first Waconia Relay for Life team this year. It's really special because I've done relays in the past, um, several years back, and it's really neat to have it here in town locally and have that opportunity for my kids to participate in the relay. I was recently diagnosed with breast cancer in December, so having Waconia in my hometown has extra meaning to me and my family. My wife is the president of the local chapter, the Women of Today, and she's the one that's getting involved, getting us involved. Why am I walking? I am walking for um, myself and I'm walking for other people that are going through cancer and just um, building awareness and bringing hope. I think it's an exciting event. Uh, happy to be participating in it. This is the first time that we're participating. I hadn't heard about it before, but we're excited to be a part of it. Many members of my family have been touched by cancer through the years. I lost both grandfathers to lung cancer. I lost an uncle to liver cancer. I lost my mom three years ago to lymphoma, and I had breast cancer two years ago. So um, cancer definitely affects our family, and I would like to make sure that the next generation doesn't have to deal with it. It's very important to me because I'm a cancer survivor and I lost a lot of family members to cancer. Um, I lost my mom to cancer nine months ago and I feel like it's my chance to fight back and I would like to help so that future generations don't have to deal with this as much also. I am a survivor so I found that I really needed to have an outlet to give back. And when I heard about Relay for Life, it was the perfect way for me to give back. They had a cure for my cancer, and I was cancer-free within six weeks of being diagnosed. I'm one of the lucky ones. But I want to be able to help more people to be cancer-free within weeks of their own diagnosis as well. I did walk a Relay for Life five years ago before I even had cancer. Um, my mother-in-law was involved in a community in Los Centro, Minnesota, and um, I went along and helped recognize individuals at that time. I just know for a fact for when I got diagnosed, um, all the what ifs that go through your head and um, will I survive, do I have to say goodbye to my child, how do I tell my child, there were so many things that come into your head and actually it was through the website of American Cancer Society that I went to for guidance and help on just figuring out, well, is there anybody else out there like me? And um, then I just started reading posts from different people and learning, wow, there were out there like me and I learned a lot with that website. I'm Elaine Wilson. I'm a mother of two, live right here in Maconia, and my husband is a cancer survivor. This is a pretty meaningful event, needless to say. I have a very good friend who is the co-chair of the Relay for Life here in Maconia and uh, she had some inspiration. She had a big idea, uh, so I decided to not even blink an eye and become a part of this. What does it mean? It means you're celebrating the lives of those that you thought you'd lose. Um, you're celebrating lives who are suffering right now. And you know what, you're just hoping for a great future for those who uh, don't know they're gonna get cancer. So this is about making baby steps. It is about uh, being part of a community event that you know is so much bigger around the world. But for Waconia right here, right now, um, you know, I'm a part of this because it means that there will be more birthdays, there will be more celebrations, and it's gotta continue. My husband was diagnosed with cancer. Luckily, it was a low-grade cancer, but uh, I am sure I'm not alone when, you know, this day in August hits that everyone, including me, has been touched by cancer. It's pretty monumental. It's, uh, you know, to be a caregiver, it's, it's, uh, it's big. To be honest with you, I don't know what to expect, but what I see so far being part of the behind the scenes planning is an amazing amount of heart, an amazing amount of ideas, uh, so much inspiration you can't even imagine. So for me, on that day in August here in Waconia, 
There is absolutely no doubt that I will walk away with so much satisfaction and so much more to give. There's so many ways that you can be involved from just simply being at the event, uh, sponsoring the event, um, coming up with fundraising ideas, um, simply telling a friend to be involved. So August 20th, 2010, Waconia's Relay for Life. No matter why you take part in a relay, um, one thing is clear, with every step you take, you help the American Cancer Society. For more information, go to relayforlife.org, keyword Waconia.